All right, Pythagorean theorem. This will be the review, what you have learned yesterday. Remember that Pythagorean theorem means, what is my middle name? Perfect. So that's my middle name. When you hear the word Pythagorean theorem, you're going to remember my middle name. Many students call me Mr. C square equals A square plus B square. Yes? How are you? Fine. Anyway, so you need to remember my middle name about Pythagorean theorem. What it means is that you must, must, must have a right triangle. This is the symbol. Tells us that you are looking at 90 degree. And... It could be, so let's make a line here, let's make a group here. It could be like that. It could be like this. It could be anywhere, but tell me, one, two, three, the letter C is the most important. Which side, one, two, three, is the C? Two. Why do you say two? Because it's not touching the 90 degrees. The 90 degree does touch side number one, side number three, but it does not touch number two. So therefore, this becomes side number two becomes C. So now let's make a quick example. And let's say this is the 90 degree. And this is 12 centimeter, 5 centimeter, what's that? So remember that when we have the 90 degree, when you'll be able to see the 90 degree, you can remember my middle name. Immediately write down my middle name. And let's figure out which one is A, which one is B, which one is C. C is the most important. And you guys are now pro about that. That will be C. A, B never matters. Today I feel like I'm going to make this one A. I'm going to make this one B. Tomorrow I might feel different, but it will never change your answer. A, B never matters. So let's go ahead and place the numbers. C is the X. It's the x equals a is 12. 12. Don't forget the square. Many does forget it. Plus b is the 5 square. I did forget the square here. You C is X. I wrote down X over here, but I did not write down the square. So please don't do the mistake I just did. So anybody, just calculate and tell me what is 12 square. 25. Okay. I thought I heard 45. All right. Then somebody adds that. Stop yelling at me. And now, remember, we are never, 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 ever interested in what's x squared. We are interested in what is x. To get that, take the square root from both sides. So what I have now? 13. And unit is centimeter. So I just find out the x. 13. Now I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to have the exact right triangle. So it was something like that. This is 12. This is 13 centimeter, centimeter. This time, 
We all know this is supposed to be 5, but let's, let's assume that we don't know. That's the one we need to find out, x. So you know that you are looking at Mr. Akio's middle name. There is a right triangle standing in front of us. So let's write down the Pythagorean theorem. And now, let's replace it. You guys know this. This is C. This time, I'm going to make this one A, this one B. Do you do the other way around? It will never make you get a mistake. So, C is 13 square. A is X square. B is 12 square. Somebody calculate 13 square, please. So, equals x square is x square, 12 square, 144. Now, here is the different part. We need to leave x alone. Now, x is very good friend with 144. But now, 144 will cheat on him. And goes to the other side. Becomes a negative 144. This is x square. x square still equals to anybody? Yes, 25. And I just said x square equals to. I am not interested in x square. Somebody tells me what is x. 5, I heard it right. Well, we knew we were going to get 5. So, centimeter, that is how you apply Pythagorean theorem. And with your homework, your first question, something like this. They don't tell you you have a right triangle or not. They tell you this is 10, this is 11, this is 15. Is this a right triangle? So, maybe if this is a right triangle, I must have that. I must be able to see this. And the C here is, I don't have the 90 degree, but it's supposed to be the longest one. Therefore, I know this is C. Let's write this down. 15 square equals A, B never matters. Let's call this A, let's call this B. 11 square plus 10 square. 15 square. Calculate. Thank you, sir. And 11 square. Calculate. Yes. 10 square. This looks weird. Watch this part carefully. 225 is 220. Let's put these two numbers together. And you will get 221. So 225 equals to 221 doesn't make sense. 5 equals 5 does make sense. 500 equals 500 does make sense, but 20, 225 is not equal to 221. Therefore, that is not a right triangle. There is no 90 degree here. Maybe there is 89 degree because it's very close to be a right triangle. Maybe there is a nine, I'm sorry, 91 degree, but all I know, there is no 90 degree here. That's all I know. So if there is no 90 degree, this is not a right triangle. 